Hey guys, um, this is a, just a quick review of the wind turbines that we've got. Um, these ones are Easter Breeze, Easter Breeze uh, 500, i500. That's the same one and that one is, I think that's called Hyacinth 300 and that's, that's sold on the, on the eBay. Uh, actually all of them are actually sold on eBay. Um, this one actually came from Germany um, that one is a um, you can get it on I think one of the Chinese um, sellers has them uh, he shipped them directly from China now uh, we've got these one that was the first one and we've got that one uh, it was working for um, in a really windy environment like it was uh, we've set it up on the beach um the winds like it's a winter season so it's a bit uh, like windy uh, over the time and it was uh, i think it was working for three months after three months it stops so uh, we didn't know what, what was wrong with it so uh we took it back to the workshop opened it up and the problem was actually in the bearing uh, the bearing actually sees so when we put a drop of wd-40 and it starts moving again now so we thought that's problem solved but it's apparently it's not um you see the the way it's built uh, the design is kind of a it's not really um we've put a cello tape around it hoping actually it's going to stop those magnets from jumping onto the outer ring and that's what's happening like uh, when it's running too fast uh, the brake kicks in and uh, when the brake kicks in it causes the magnets to jump on the outer ring so that's what's happening now so the problem is when it jumps to the outer ring in that case that starts hitting up really badly so that's that one it's um, uh, that's what actually happened because that one was really hot it caused the grease on the, on the bearing to um, evaporate or got sticky and uh, the whole turbine just stopped um, so we put a drop of uh, oil on it it starts spinning again but when it goes really fast it actually jumps again so we have to figure out the way of actually holding those magnets so they won't jump um, to the outer ring again but then the problem with the overheating uh, I don't know how to resolve that however uh, we've sent it to the to the guys who sold it and um, they're very very nice and um, uh, what they've done uh, they've sent us a new one free of charge uh, which was very nice gesture of them uh, so we've set this one up as you can see there's a problem already with that one so we've set this one up after three months roughly three months uh, it stops again so this time we took it down and we know there's a problem with them and we um, there's no way like it's not that just that one was faulty but all of them there probably there's a problem with them <clears throat> so um, yeah uh, this one is a, was a bit different as it got completely burnt out and the bearing as you can see everything is melted here that's how this shit looks like in here so that's the space between those now that was completely like uh, stick stick stuck onto the this kind of a surface now it's uh, it's completely melted you can see that the bearing was coming out um, so when we look inside same story um, all those magnets were on the other side on the outer ring they're not attached in any way oh, let me take this out see the hole here that that's that was uh, uh, the bearing here so those those magnets are actually there's no they're not they're not fixed to anything so they're really easy can jump on the on the outer ring with no problem whatsoever so that's uh, so that's the problem with them um, do I recommend them um, for probably for uh, CTUs or somewhere in the shed uh, yeah, you, they're okay. -ish. They're still vibrating. Like there's no. Um, 
I'm not really happy with them anyway. So it's a, it's a bit, it was, they were a bit expensive as well. I think it was 350 or 300 or 400 euro for them. So uh, I wouldn't call it volley for money. Um, so after these ones, um, we went and got that one. And this one actually worked. Um, we've changed the bearing on that, that one from the original one. So we have a two new bearings, uh, quite good quality bearings. Um, and this one, as you can see, is when it's spinning too fast, like, oh, oh sorry, when there's a, uh, the wind is too high, it bends the tail, causing it to bend against the wind and slowing down as well. It's, it's some, I thought that's gonna be, that's a winner. I thought that's the winner and that's gonna save the, the or resolve the issue of uh, uh, working into uh, high winds but it didn't so um, so we opened this up after two I think three weeks of working on the in the stormy weather um, it stopped um, so we could actually hear the, the, the rattling noise coming out of it and it was completely the, the rubber the rubber that was up here it was completely burnt as well so I guess it must be really that's the aluminum or yeah, it looks like aluminum so that was probably really hot um, so we opened that one up and as you can see it's it's a big disaster here like you can everything is all over the place you can yeah there's a, some parts of the bearing left on here uh, some parts of the the coil as well this was completely melted that's the electrical connectors um, so imagine the temperature in here now the bearings uh, this one we've got that one working now the other one is completely smashed that's the back of that electrical coils everything is completely burned out everything is completely destroyed like when you can see these ones even though they were hitting up really badly they still okay they're not like they're not completely damaged. Well, these ones, they're much thinner. The cable is much thinner. Um, I'd say that was the problem as well. So uh, the bearing is gone as well. As you can see it there, it's completely destroyed. Now that one, as I said, that one was working only like three weeks before it ceased. And that one was working for three months. <sighs> anyway, um, these ones, oh by the way, these ones uh, were a bit more expensive as it costs us much more to replace the bearings. Um, I don't think we're gonna get any money back on these ones. In general, um, they probably, if they look nicer, um, they worked a bit better as well before we actually installed them. But in the in the strong winds, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend them. So. Um, here it is, just to give you a, um, a kind of a glimpse of what the problems we had with the turbines. Uh, I've never found any video tutorials or actual review on the on those two, um, so that's why I'm actually doing this to show you where the problems are. They're not really good, and um, but anyway, uh, here it is, and thanks for watching.